is the um, the meeting of the select board for the town of Conway, and we are being recorded by Zoom. All right, first item on the agenda, the minutes for June 1. Has everybody had a chance to review those minutes? Beautiful. I'll make a motion we approve those minutes. Do I have a second? Second. All right. Philip? You're yes. Is, Robert, you're yes. I'm no. a yes. Is, is Philip here yet? Yeah, Philip. There here. he is. Hi, Phil. <laughs> Must be and, muted. Attended by select board members. Philip, you're going to tell us a lot later on, right? Do you have anything else? No, everything last week was postponed to this week. It's great. Okay. Robert? Uh, our Conservation Commission meeting was canceled for no known pressing business so no nothing nothing okay let's see what did i have i had the mma board meeting last week uh we talked mostly about finances and how other towns were doing this and uh we're we're right in line with a lot of the other towns they're using uh stabilization free cash and borrowing if they have to so we're we're pretty consistent with what everybody else is thinking um we had a COVID-19 brief update. Um, and again, you know, we're, we're, we're coming down in Massachusetts in terms of uh, cases and hospitalizations and deaths. That's a good sign. I had a FERCOG finance and executive committee meeting. We talked mostly about uh, personal protective equipment and how the FERCOG is, is managing that new program they started um for local businesses as well as municipalities if we need any um any uh, personal protective equipment we can get it through the fur cot okay uh next item public comments do we have any public comments no public comments okay next item under old business town meeting logistics thomas yeah, um, things seem to be going along fairly smoothly. We're going to have a meeting uh, at the shed, uh, uh, an assortment of people involved in town meeting. Uh, Lori Lucier is town clerk, Ron Sweet uh, for helping get things set up. Ken is going to be there uh, to talk about uh, getting people up to the, you know, getting elderly and disabled people up to the building. We're going to look over where everything's going to be, how things are going to be set up. Uh, Chris Collins and the sound guy are also going to be there. Um, this is so, tomorrow. What time? Uh, uh, 2 p.m. So uh, th things are looking good. Um, we'll have uh, sanitizers and masks available and uh, porta potties again. Um, and uh, uh, someone has suggested uh, drinking water, bottled water. Um, I I'd be interested in any in people's input on how much we should get. Um, uh, I thought briefly about a cooler, but then thought no, not with COVID nineteen around. People are going to want their individual bottles, so that makes sense. Um, and. Uh, it looks like we're going to have a generator instead of running running a line up from the shed. Um, the lights in the highway pull more electricity than uh, than Ron had uh, thought originally. Um, so they're all wired. They're all set up. We just have to get a generator to uh, to give it the juice, and um, so that's looking good. Um, Ron, aside from that. Ron yeah, Ron, Ron is Ron, Ron is is taking care of that, um, and uh, that's all I have for uh, the logistics now. Okay, all right. Any questions for Tom? Philip, you're on mute. So, with with the bottled water, I, you know, it's one of those things that um, if you ha if you get too much, you get the fire and EMS use it for their summer calls 
pretty liberally. So um, it's not like it's going to go to waste or anything. Um, but I got a bunch of I got a bunch of co cooler like coolers laying around. Fill up a few bags of ice and put them in a couple different spots. So I don't know, one per person. Wow, that's fancy coolers. <laughs> no, they're not fancy coolers, but if you're thirsty, you don't mind. No, it's fancy to have coolers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, maybe it may be a gross. Yeah. A gross. What is it? 12 what times 12. What is a gross? What are you, a 12 gross squared. Grosser? All right. Any other questions for Tom? All right, Tom. Uh, how about the uh, reopening of town offices? Yeah, I haven't been able to get as much done on that as I wanted to. There's there's a lot of preparatory work, uh, including um, uh, talking with staff beforehand. Uh, Phil has uh, has mentioned the possibility of having a reopening committee. Um, I think we can be a little bit more informal than that but i do need to check in with everybody once i have a good draft of the uh you know policies and procedures there are some things we're required to have such as signage uh and there are we want everybody to be clear on what the you know what the rules are so i'm still pulling that together i i uh i was out sick uh for a little bit this past week so i didn't get as much done on it as i as i'd wanted to but uh still um still at the top of my list for uh for uh for getting the place open again uh we're also dealing with um some uh hardware issues the plexiglass shields and things like that so uh once we have resolution on that um we'll be able to move forward pretty quickly okay All right great and, and so that's any that's questions John, that's something that the, that the school committees are also dealing with this month as as the schools are developing their back to school plans, which are detailed and numerous drafts are going out. Um, and, and so, you know, that which and it's, of course, much more complicated than what, you know, op opening the town uh, hall and town offices. But but um, the, 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 the big thing there is that. that it, it works. It works better when there's sort of someone, someone responsible for, for, um, for, for, for you know, so, someone clearly responsible for something, rather than it being not so sure. Oh, I'm the one who's hold. responsible. No question hold. about that. Okay. Good. Hold, hold, hold on for a second. I, I've got to, I've got to put my dog down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jeez, John, <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> it's, it's so aggressive, right? Now. Dog. Don't bark around John. I'll tell you. Go bad, go bad. Boy. gets upset when I have visitors. Okay. Uh, He's still alive, though, John, right? I'm on that. The dog is still alive, right? You didn't actually put him down. When you meant put him down, you weren't really talking putting the dog down. And No, it was downstairs. <laughs> no, okay. Good. Do that. Okay. We were speculating in your absence. Down? Are you kidding? He's my buddy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, next item is the uh, the forest stewardship plan. Alex and Mary, what do we have on that? Um, hey, so we uh, we have we have some exciting news, which is that I'm sure I imagine you all are aware also, but we got an extension on the project, mm -hmm. which is yeah. much appreciated and really awesome because it's going to give us until the end of September to do. A, hopefully a more comprehensive second workshop, which will be really nice. Um, and also a little more time to, you know, we got 89 responses to the survey, which is just that's great, unbelievable. Great. <laughs> you know, if we had 30 or 40, that would have been really good. And instead we got, you know, pushing in on 100. 
Um, so that's really exciting, but it's also a lot of nice stuff to sort through. Um, our first workshop went really well. Um, there were about 20 people who did a like two hour Zoom session that was great. Um, we had some nice like breakout groups and things and it, it went as well as it could given the digital format. Um, but yeah, so I think, you know, the, we just wanted to be on the agenda tonight to say, hey, we're still here. We've been working a bunch on the field work and stuff. And we're going to now kind of take a moment of breathing and say, okay, whew, we don't have to have everything done by June 30th. That's awesome. Um, but also, you know, not, not let it languish because that's the danger of getting an extension. You don't want to, you don't want to lose your momentum of which we have really nice momentum right now. So our current plan is to put out a sort of an update bulletin in the next Conway Currents um, and also publish it on the town website. We pretty much have it written as of now. Um, and we're gonna target provided, you guys think it's a good idea, uh, August 12th as our second workshop date. And we'll start sort of advertising that now. That you're just, that's a Wednesday evening. Um, and then kind of toward the end of July, our plan will be to have drafts to you guys for review, drafts for the public to look at, and a second sort of smaller survey to get kind of very targeted feedback on different recommendations. Um, and then we'll kind of, you know, the second half of August, we'll sort of finalize stuff and take final input and then pull together the final drafts for everything. Sounds like a plan, yeah. So it's, it's did like you a, mean August 12th or did you mean July 12th? Uh, August 12th. Okay. It, so, okay. Yeah. We'd like to, we'd like to get the second survey out kind of in the middle of July and get mm -hmm. a little more. So the, the second survey would have kind of, what do you think about this idea specifically, this idea specifically kind of like yes, no up down questions as opposed to, you know, the first survey had a lot of educational material and kind of some bigger, topics. The, the second one will be sort of a, hey, you know, this is great participation. What do you guys particularly think about enhancing songbird habitat this way in this respect? Or, you know, doing a proforestation agenda in this part of the forest? Or doing, you know, trail work here and developing some signs for the vernal pools and the school children here? Like very particular things that mm -hmm. will come out of the sort of values that we've kind of got a big list going of. This sounds uh, very comprehensive. Priscilla, do you have any questions? You're on, you're on mute, Priscilla. Mute. You're, you're on mute. You're, you're on mute. Yeah, there you go. Not right now. Thank you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. Yeah. Well, this um, is Terry. I have, a, I have just something to throw in. One thing that we did find from the survey was people are pretty clear what they value about the town, the community-owned forest. And our second survey is more, we got a lot of ideas from the first survey and the first workshop, and now we want to, you know, you have to buckle it down, right, of a management plan. And one of the beauties of the management plan is the town and whoever is interested in the future management of these woods or care of these woods can use the management plan as a funding vehicle. So we wanted to reach out again to clarify the, the goals and objectives that we derive from both the survey and the first workshop are pretty broad based and there's a lot of them. If we can fine tune them and reduce them to a workable number so we can craft and complete a plan, then it sets you up for future funding and you have a sort of a clear roadmap where to go. And um, yeah, that, that's, I wanted to add that. That's sort of our thinking strategy. Yeah, and the, the, the engagement has been great. You know. It's been, it's been really cool. And the, you know, now that we, you know, I've spent a ton of time out in both of those forests and, you know, the work that has happened there in the past has like set them up to be pretty awesome places. A thing that really came through in the survey was people's interest in having sort of a, a resilient dynamic forest. And you get that by having big trees, little trees, different species, different combinations, different sort of biodiversity kind of hotspots that have been protected and taken care of over time. And like both forests have that and it's super cool. So there's like this amazing framework to kind of build on. 
Any other questions for uh, Alex or Mary at this point? Okay. Um, thank you both. You've done a great job. It's really looking good. Yeah, thank you guys. Uh, how, yeah, do you have any questions for us or any things you need clarified or give us direction to move on forward? Anything like that? Well, I, I, ran, I ran through your, um, your report once, and I need to go through it again to really, you know, soak it up. Um, I suppose, you know, next time we see you, I'll have a couple of questions. But I think it was very, okay. it's very well done. Go ahead, Priscilla. Oh, the workshop presentation? You're on mute. Yeah, go ahead, Priscilla. I was going to ask, you said you read through a report. I'm wondering what report that was. The workshop PowerPoint, John? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Is, is that available? Yeah, the... Would you like that, Priscilla? We could put it on the web page, Tom. What do you think of that? Sure, that sounds oh, great. Yeah, sure. yeah I had sent... Oh, we presented that night, Priscilla. Okay, I just want... Yeah, I wasn't sure what you would... Yeah, I had, sent, um, I had sent Lisa, I think, a PDF of the PowerPoint to post on the town website, but I'll make sure that I did do that. And then we also recorded the whole thing, just like this call. And it's a huge file, but it's on my list to stick it in a shared server so that she can access it to then post it to the town website, just nice. in case anybody wants to see it, because it, it, it has some very good material in it. Um, next item on the agenda is to approve. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. To approve Have a good night. A phase good, one night. good night, everyone. Uh, yeah, good night. Good night, Mary. Good night. Good night, Alex. Uh, we approved the phase one invoice for the FARS stewardship plan. Uh, any questions on that? I didn't see that there was a, were they asking for our approval? I mean, it just gets done, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we yeah, have, the, uh, yeah. have it paid. But it's out of the grant. The, 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 yeah, it, the FERCOG, the FERCOG um, is managing the grant and and they need a, a select board approval to pay the invoice. It's it's kind of like putting it on the warrant, except the FERCOG is managing that. So they do need select board approval. And any other questions on that? Any, any yeah, at this point, on the, the invoice at, this at all? point, we've induced them to do the work. We, we, I mean, you have to pay them. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll make a motion that we approve the phase one invoice for the forest stewardship plan. Second. Who's going to second? I'll second it. Okay. Bob seconds. Philip, you okay with it? You're going to vote yes. Robert, yes. And I'm yes. Okay. That's approved. All right. Under new business, we've got the local option legislation. Um, proposal uh, for real estate uh, transfer fee for affordable housing. Bob, you were, you were shepherding this? Uh, I was, not, not that I remember. I think, well, I, I sent it to Tom and uh, we, we got this, I believe, was it from MMA? We, 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 we received this plan and looking for select boards to approve you know it's it's a, a a bit of a political you know yeah. issue over whether whether we would be in support of this local transfer fee to fund affordable housing yes it have was you, from mass alliance. mass alliance the mass not the mma okay yeah have you have you read through any of the proposals from the other the other towns? No. The other bills that are up the, up there before the House and the Senate. They're all over the place. Those yeah, bills. I know. Yeah. Um, in principle, I'm against it, and the reason for it is that uh, we're already collecting money through the um, through the CPA funding for housing. Uh, and essentially, I don't want to add another, basically another tax to somebody selling their house. I think the amount, the amount is the key. The, 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 yeah. and, and the numbers have been all, I mean, I've, I saw the one thing that was like $15 extra. 
and I saw something else that was five hundred dollars extra. So, um, well, Summer Somerville had a two percent charge, one percent to be paid by the seller, one percent to be paid by the buyer. So it's like you know. I don't know whether somebody selling their house should be charged a tax for housing in the future for the town they're leaving. You know? Well, they may not be leaving, they may, but they are selling their house. But, that, you know, it, it, I, I, th I think affordable housing is a really critical issue. And I certainly know here in Conway, we do not have, you know, affordable housing and we, we need affordable housing so that, uh, you know, especially young people can afford to come here and, and buy houses. But this, this is not a serious vehicle for Conway to obtain that because what do we have, 10 real estate transactions a year? Right? Maybe. I yeah. mean, what's, so what's the possible potential income from something like this, even at its most generous? Um, you know, the answer is not enough to make a substantial difference in our stop in, in, in our situation, I would think. Um, maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. I mean, and symbolism always has its value, but. Um, well, I am pleased that the zoning board is, is taking an active look at affordable housing. Yeah. Oh yeah, we yeah. definitely need, we definitely need affordable housing. The thing is, you know, how do we finance it? And we have, we have plenty of money in CPA and we keep getting more money and we don't have anything to spend it on, you know? And we can spend it on affordable housing. I, well, we've tried to do that. And I, you know, I would love to try to do it again. We just don't have a housing committee anymore, you know? We're, get, we're spending a good chunk of it this year if it goes through. Um, yeah. I, I'm okay with a letter like that uh, because we don't, because the, 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 it's, I, I know that the, the bills being considered are still the product of negotiations and are still, I don't, I don't know whether the governor has indicated what he'd sign on to yet and all that. So, or I haven't seen, but. All, all the bills that are, that are being presented or, or thought to be, be presented are all in Eastern Massachusetts. Nobody in Western Mass that's doing it. And that's my problem with a lot of the programs that they have right now that even the ones that are meant to house to, to help the, the, the towns with no stock, they, they require a certain amount of housing starts and all these other metrics that we're just never going to get. No, we, yeah, we never qualify for them. Um, well, yeah, that's, you know, that's one of the problems. But again, we, we do have plenty of money for affordable housing at least to get get it started but we just don't we don't have any place to put it right now you know nobody it's less of an issue of whether conway specifically is going to benefit from this but but i you know i i i think it's a good i think i support the bill for massachusetts even though yes it's it's mostly not going to impact conway okay. if there's ever any general possibility of transferring wealth from Eastern Mass to out to us. I'm in favor of it. So I don't, I, I, I don't That's know. not the way it works, Philip. Yes, yes. yes. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> works the other way around. Yes, yes. This is unfortunately true. All right. So what do we want to do here, Robert? Well, I mean, I think that we should, you know, just all, all we're doing is we're supporting their letter, you know, that, that supports this legislation. Uh, let's see, hold on. Right now, okay, you, you saw who signed this letter, right? This is, you know, Watertown, Somerville, Brookline, Newton, Medford, Cambridge, Boston, Everett. Nobody in Western Massachusetts signing this letter. Somebody's got to be first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it's symbolic. You it, realize it, we'd we'd fit in we we'd fit in the uh, in the shoe of any one of these. Uh, yeah. 
you want to add? Do you want to add your name to this letter, Bob? I would. Yes. Well, but the question is, does Conway want to add their name to this letter? Probably. Well, it's individual. It's individual. Um, it's all counselors and select board members here. Uh huh. You know. Do you want to be the first from Western Mass, Robert? I could, yes, I would, I could sign myself, but I thought it would be a good thing for Conway, but. Do you I'll want to the select board from Conway? I'll sign it for the purely symbolic value that it represents to you, Bob. <laughs> okay, well, so we can sign it as individuals and that would be fine, but I thought it would okay. be a good thing to talk about. Okay, Tom, um, do you want to get all three of us on there? Um, that that's that's up to you. Well, all right, we're gonna we're gonna we'll do it we'll do it all three of us will do it. Okay. As right. individual select men. Okay. Do we want to vote on that? I'll make a motion that we all put our names on it. Do I have a second? Sure. I'll second it. Okay, Bob. All right, are we all in favor? Yes. Yes. So little Conway is gonna be there right next to uh, Cambridge. Good, hey, Cambridge. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would sound uh, proud to stand next to Cambridge. It, it is a web form. So you, you, do, you will have to submit them individually, right? Because it's a web form. Oh, okay. Okay, and, and they tell us how to get there in the letter? Yeah, there's a, there's a link. Okay. Okay. I, I, I believe there is. I'll, I'll check that. Okay. If uh, I don't, I don't see one offhand, but um, if you find uh, one, send it to us. Okay. I'm, I might've been thinking of, uh, of something else. If not, I'll, I'll draw up a letter. You want, you want to, you want to draw up a separate letter? In the oh, link that no, you, no. you sent us, there's an yeah. endorsement form. Yes, yes, there is. There is. There is an uh, There's a form. The first okay. link in 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 what I sent. Yeah. Yeah. It's a All Google right. Doc. Good. You know. Yeah. All right. All right. So we'll we'll all we'll all sign that and send it off. Great. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. Thank that's you. that's what I thought. There's a sub submit button at the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tom, do we have uh, any other questions on that? No. Okay. Do we have uh, any items not anticipated, Thomas? I do not. Okay. Do we have an update? Yeah. Um, end of year activity is picking up. Uh, I have closed out the MEMA hazard mitigation plan update grant. Uh, I'm continuing to work on the new forest stewardship grant with Phil. Looking forward to getting that submitted maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I filed for the CARES Act uh, for FY20 so far. Um, it doesn't preclude filing for more FY20 uh, reimbursements um, later on by the end of the calendar year. But I did. Uh, file for some, including some that were requested by uh, Shelley Pareda at the, uh, uh, for Conway Grammar School and uh, Conway's share of some for, for Frontier. Um, that includes 50 Chromebooks that the grammar school purchased, uh, some disinfectants some, and some no-contact thermometers. Uh, so that's good. Um, as you heard, we received a, uh, an extension for the current round of uh, MWTP grants, um, and, and we have, uh, as you heard, we have till, uh, what is it, uh, the end of August, beginning of September to uh, finish that up, so look forward to that. Um, the treasurer collector will be available um, to sell transfer station stickers uh, on Monday, June 15th, and that's today. Uh, this is yeah. this is up on the web, yeah. too, so 
so it's not like late notice. Uh, and Wednesday, June 17th, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., uh, if people call ahead, uh, she'll meet them at the door. So if you know anybody who needs a sticker who doesn't want to go through the online payment, uh, now they can come Wednesday from 9 to 1 if they call first. And uh, a couple of town meeting items. Um, regarding the borrowing item, uh, you'll notice, you may have noticed, that it's it's not presented either as a debt exclusion or an override. Um, Jan says that if we need to borrow short term within the fiscal year, uh, we don't need that. Um, she doesn't right. think we even need town meeting authority, but um, I think it's probably good to have the discussion at town meeting as to whether we want to go that route anyway. So it'll be good to get feedback there. Um, if we do want to borrow long term, we'll have to have another town meeting followed by a ballot vote, whether it's an override or a debt exclusion, um, much, a much more serious um, prospect if we want to borrow beyond the fiscal year. So um, that's just a kind of an explanation of that. And um, for some reason, I did not include the $30,000 for the Board of Health in the final warrant. I went through the articles and I thought I checked all of them off, but I must have missed that one somehow. And I, I called Carl Nelke and told him that. He was not, um, he was not uh, at all um, distressed about that. He wasn't even sure it it was going to be on. He, he somehow thought it, it, it hadn't been approved. So um, not really bad news there, but I do have it on, um, uh, I do have a note to have it on the next town meeting, uh, whether it's in the fall or, or uh, uh, whenever the next town meeting is. So uh, uh, that's not as operating. Um, I'm I'm not talking about that specific. Piece. No, 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 it's a capital item. That's yeah. That specific piece of equipment that, would pay for itself the next number of years. Yeah. Yeah, that's that one. So uh, that was coming from free cash. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, my apologies, it did not make it onto this warrant. It was probably best. <laughs> I agree. All right. Um, any questions for Tom? No? Okay. Concerns of the selectmen. Philip, do you have any concerns? No. No. Okay. Robert? Well, I, I think that selectmen concerns is the only place for me to talk about this. But um, so we, ha we are making progress on the, uh, the aggregation and the letters are about to go out or they have gone out. Um, I sometimes I'm a little late getting my Conway mail. Um, but you should expect to see them soon. Uh, the letter it will also contain the postcard that people can return if they really don't want to join the aggregation. Um, the, the, the goal is, is that you, know, you need to return it during, during the month of July, by the month of July. So that's creeping up on us. But um, I, I, I've posted a lot about the aggregation over in Nextdoor Conway. I've gotten some good questions there and uh, tried to provide answers. Um, I have received, you know, there, there are people who were upset that it is an opt, you have to opt out that your automatic, people will be automatically joined, but that's the way the program is. Uh, you know, I, it's, uh, uh, there's nothing we can do about it if we want to do this program. Uh, and, and we have a good estimate that over the, over the, the, uh, five, the 30, you know, the 41 months of the program, we expect it will save the people of Conway about $60,000 if our estimates are correct for what we anticipate Eversource pricing is going to be if it's, you know, at all normal. Um, it'll save the people of Conway a lot of money. So um, I, I'm, I'm excited that the program is going through and people should get their letter. And if anybody has any questions, please, they should call me. Uh, just like the, uh, the 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 press release said, so um, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, it, it's all no. happening. 
you know what what happens uh, a lot, Bob, is that people think the town has basically said that it's an opt out program, but it's not the town that does that. It's the law that says that. So it's not that the town doesn't have a choice. Right. Yeah. It's the way the program works. They, we should complain to the legislature, but you know, it's just the, the way it was created. Well, on, all successful programs in the country are opt out programs. And that's because that's the best way to build the largest um, base for purchasing. That's exactly why they do it that way. Another reason is because lend, uh, suppliers will not bid on something that's an opt-in program. So, right. Basically, move. But it's very easy for people not to join if they really don't want to be part of this program. But they can they can purchase exactly the same electricity from us cheaper than they can get it from EverSource. And they can purchase um, the same electricity, but with 5% more renewable energy at almost, but still lower than ever source prices. So, uh, you know, I, I am interested in hearing why people uh, um, are still resistant to stay in the program. Yeah, they, they don't have to, and they don't have to tell me their reasons. But It's the same philosophical underpinning as Obamacare. No, it is not. You know what it is a lot of times, Bob, is that, that people think you're switching them from the carrier, like you're switching them from Eversource, when actually you're not switching them from Eversource. It's just the supply, where the supply comes from. Eversource still services the account, basically services the infrastructure, uh, does everything. You get an out, you have an outage, you call Eversource. Eversource does everything. It's just where the supply comes from. Right. That's, that's what shakes most people up. The yeah, bill I, will still come from every source, you know. The only the, thing that changes on the bill close. is the name of the supplier. That's right. Right. Yeah. And and uh, you you got that email from our resident earlier today. You saw that email, right, Bob? I, I got an email. I don't know if it went to everybody, but no, yeah. no, it went to you and I. Okay. Oh, you're, you're right. Now I'm looking at it. Yes, it went to you and I. So um, I, I've, I've answered a number of, you know, you know, the, the, the question and we'll see what happens. But, it, yeah, but yeah. It's, just, it's the way it is. Okay. Yeah. And great work on that, Bob, by the way, putting it all together. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm thrilled. And yeah, absolutely. Mostly I'm thrilled that we have all of the, all, you know, so many Franklin County towns all cooperating. You know, I, I mean, right. That's, that's, and, that's the way we save money. And more green energy. And, and that's good too. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, I have no concerns. I have absolutely no concerns. Um, I don't have any mail. I don't have any announcements. Our next meeting is next um, Monday. Our town meeting is this Saturday at one o'clock. Yeah. In our new facility. Will be uh, should be great. Executive session. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now, now we're going to um, <clears throat> go into an executive session for reason number three to discuss strategy with regard to collective bargaining um, school unions, um, and we will we will come out of that meeting, we'll adjourn from that meeting from, and simultaneously from the open meeting. Um, so no one else is allowed into this here on out, but us who's here now, okay? Um, and Tom, how do we keep people out? Do we know? Stop recording. Okay. Well, anyway. Tom, can you All enable right, so, what's called the waiting room? So, so we're in executive session. Uh, oh, wait, we have to have a vote. Philip? Yes. Yes. Robert? Yes. Yes. And myself? Yes. Okay, now we're in executive session.